Got all of it. I was very appreciative of it too. So there's there's two different types of like carts to get to the park. There's this access and then there's the St. Mary access, which is the eastern side past the St. Mary Lake. So we could spend one day over there and then do all that stuff or like two hikes and then a couple things. And then the other days we're here, we can stay on this side. She said that because of the late snow that a, many of the trails are blocked from snow melt and ice and are just too dangerous and it keeps the grizzlies in the valley because they can't get up there and hunt their food so there's lots of grizzly bears around cool. so bring our bear spray when we go hiking cool Welcome to the pass, well, the driving summit of Glacier National Park. <sighs> Had to get the blare off the screen. What? Piper. Oh. Um, Blair, this is your first time to Glacier National Park. What's yeah. your thoughts so far? It's beautiful. We just drove up to going to the Sun Road. Yep. We're at Logan Pass. Yep. At the little visitor center up here. A couple hikes up here we may do tomorrow. Going to see some bears tomorrow or today, I don't know. Gorgeous weather. It's pretty windy up top here, but that's okay.
recording at all? Nope. Take two. Take two. Road snacks. Blair bought all the road snacks. I brought options. So walnuts or macadamia nuts. Should you prefer one over the other? Keto crisp bars, the two flavors we have left. I'm about to have the blackberry jelly and almond butter because yes. it is my favorite. That's your favorite. Well, my current favorite. The dark chocolate almond, mm. it ranks right up there, the newest flavor. It's good, yeah. With sea salt. Yeah. That's it bars. <coughs> Mini that's it bars. All three flavors. Cherries of each flavor that we got yesterday. crackers that are not quite stale enough yet. Got one of each animal. Yeah, should I prefer one animal over the other? <laughs> you know, that's how I used to eat them. I used to only eat certain animals and then I would go through all the animals. But they're not chewy yet, so I gotta leave the back of them. We just finished the hike out to St. Mary's Falls. Virginia Falls. Virginia Falls, yeah. And another fall. Blair made me run back. No, I just, it was a suggestion. And so we did. We did get back in 40% faster time. It twisted my ankle pretty good. Yeah. If you've never been to Glacier Park, Glacier National Park, it is a jaw-dropping view when you drive to the sun, up the going to the sun road. Yeah. Um, and if you've never seen the mountains before, yeah. these Stand are the mountains by. to see. Yeah, it's gorgeous. If you're planning on stopping in parking lots or parking at trailheads and doing hikes, you either gotta come really early or after 4 o'clock. Even if you have a path. Yeah, there's nowhere to park. So the shuttle service here is pretty great. They, the shuttles run about every 15 minutes. If you're going up to Logan Pass and the visitor center and walk out to the Hidden Lake, you can be on the first express bus up here. It doesn't make any other stops. It goes straight to Logan Pass. And then work your way back down. Yeah, there's yeah. plenty of little one mile hikes, two mile hikes, stuff like that. So you can do all the way back down. Yep. It's just a cool drive. Of the wildlife. No, they're just I'm a Disney princess. They just come to me. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? Welcome to Avalanche Lake and Blair's back of her head. She just can't stop looking. I know, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Oh, you're good. <laughs> it is pretty epic. So, this is Avalanche Lake. Uh, you can park. It's one of the first uh, parking spaces you come in after you drive along the lake coming in the west entrance. And then you get, you got to get in here early or super late to get a parking spot there or just take the, um, the shuttle bus and they'll let you off. It's a two mile, a little over two mile, and a half mile. on the road to here is about two miles to here. Um, six, seven hundred feet elevation gain, so it's not bad. Not horrible. But all the waterfalls up there and this gorgeous lake, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's cool. And we're going to head back and see a puppy and cook some bacon and eggs. I've been wanting bacon and eggs all day. <laughs> we're standing in the grove of the uphill avalanche tree fall. So back over there in 2012, an avalanche came down the mountain and the wind created such a force that it blew all the trees uphill. Pretty crazy. Blair's standing in the root ball of that one tree. 
sounds of a toy. Yeah. It's a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> it even zooms. Does it zoom? That's not so bad. <laughs> Blair, what's a Rand McNally? It's a map. But you didn't know that just days ago. It's an atlas. I knew what we had. I just didn't know the name brand of it. Oh. Good. Is that a fact? Yeah. A road atlas. Oh. So. Point six three miles, average pace twenty one twenty seven. Ride the night like a roller coaster, like the night.